Hello everybody, Simon Anderson here. I'm with uh, Lucy Rogers. Lucy uh, is, um, is well known for having been arrested uh, counter-protesting at a Palestinian demonstration uh, some time ago. And uh, today that she's been uh, counter-demonstrating again. Uh, hello, Lucy. Tell us what's been going on today. There was another pro-Palestine protest that uh, I attended. Uh, I was holding this sign saying, killing kids is also wrong when Hamas does it. Um, that's, what, that's what happened. Uh, but what uh, uh, I really wanted to say, because Simon and I were just having a chat, and I mentioned this, is I'm not a professional protester. I'm not part of any political party. I've never been a member of a political party in my life. I'm actually apolitical. I don't like any of them. Uh, I'm not part of a lobby group. I'm not here with a group of protesters who are all supporting me. I'm actually an army of one um, with a placard. That's literally it. But the reason that I have been protesting every week for the last 10 weeks, or there, 10 weeks or thereabouts, the reason I've been protesting every week for the last 10 weeks, despite having no previous history of lobbying or uh, engagement on this particular issue, is because I was arrested in November for doing exactly what I did today, which was to peacefully, silently stand with a placard on, in, on that occasion saying that selective condemnation of genocide is evil. And because I was arrested, um, and because I have subsequently come to realise both from th things that have happened to other people and from my experiences with police over the past 10 weeks. Um, because, because I was arrested and because of those things, that is why I have continued to protest every week um, up until today and why I will continue to do so until the protests end in order to ensure that all New Zealanders retain the right to protest. Because if we don't, um, if we don't use this right, then, the, then we will lose it. So that's my motivation here. And that's why I've taken such a particular uh, interest in and strong stance on this issue. I understand. Tell me, since your arrest, how have you found the police uh, when you're at, um, attending these demonstrations? Have they looked after you, ensured your safety? Um, I will say that the vast majority of them have actually uh, done really well. Um, I think that there has been a significant improvement since the media attention, and I think that Daniel Maxwell said the same thing the other day um, with the interview that you did with him outside Auckland District Court. Um, there has been a noticeable improvement, um, and I think that the vast majority of them are doing a great job and are being polite and um, have, have really protected us. And I, to those really great police officers, um, I really thank you. Uh, I think that you're doing, a, you know, a great job, and I think you're doing a really important job. And and as I've said to you guys when I've had the opportunity to, to chat with you, I'm not anti-police. I'm not anti-cops. I re I really appreciate good police when they do their jobs properly. But unfortunately, there are a minority who, uh, perhaps, a, well, who am I to say if they're a minority or not? <laughs> but. Um, there are, there, are, there are a proportion of police who are abusing their powers. Um, and until now, this has gone um, unnoticed by the public um, until the recent media attention that I and Daniel Maxwell have had. Uh, and no, I have to say, I do not respect those people. Um, and unfortunately, I have had a few clashes with the police since then, not so far as the, uh, that they actually arrested me, uh, but um, I've had them. I've had a few people hassle me, um, or try to pretend that they have the authority to dictate where I stand on a footpath, stuff like that. And my response was just very respectfully and peacefully, "No, you don't have the authority to tell me where to stand on the footpath as long as I'm not in blocking the protesters or getting in their way, um, and I'm standing far enough back from the." from the curb that the police can form a line. Um, so I have had a couple of uh, police officers who were like that, but the majority of them have been really great.
Okay, well, that's, that's very interesting. And tell me, how have you, what has the reaction been from the Palestine, pro-Palestine demonstrators to your presence and to your sign? Um, they react with hostility every time, but they haven't physically assaulted me so far, and so I appreciate that. I, I will say that I have had a couple of really great conversations with a couple of them. Um, there was this one uh, young woman, I, I, I can't remember her name, but she was really lovely, and we had a really good quarter um, just about some of the issues, and shook hands and went away as friends. And I thought that that was fantastic. But I think that is too. I think that uh, it's, it's, New Zealand should be a country where we do respect free speech and people's right to protest. And also there should be the opportunity uh, at these sorts of things for people to exchange ideas in a peaceful, yep. peaceful manner. And the police actually said, stopped by and like, were talk, as, as I was talking with this person, and said like, is everything good? And I was like, yeah, it's great. No problems at all. We're just chatting and, and, and she's awesome. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I thought that that was fantastic. Unfortunately, not all of the protesters are like that. It's just a mixed bag, but you get that in, at any protest. There's a whole variety of people. Okay. Um, but I haven't seen any physical violence so far from the pro-Palestine people, apart from having like a water bottle thrown at us and stuff. Um, but the police intervened at that point and, you know, told them to go away. Okay. Um, but ge generally it's been peaceful. It's been peaceful. So I, I think that's great that, uh, that, that the protests have been in general peaceful, that the police have done generally a good job at, uh, at, at keeping the peace. What's, what's next for you? Um, <laughs> I will continue protesting for as long as these, pro these protests on Queen Street continue and for as long as I have time. Okay. Well, well, thank you very much for your time, Ms. Rogers. It's wonderful to have the opportunity to meet you and to get you on camera. Before we finish, is there anything else that you'd like to say? Uh, no, I think it's about it. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time.